My name is Bob Gear, and I'm Associate Professor and Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs here at the College for Nanoscale Science and Engineering. And I'm standing in front of a chemical mechanical planarization tool. Uh, this is a tool used in the manufacture of integrated circuits, nanochips, for lack of a better name. And this tool specifically removes layers at the nanometer scale in making the chip flat as you manufacture it. Every time that table turns around, you're removing three to four atomic layers of material. You have to be that flat in order to make the nanoscale structures that are part of our, um, part of our integrated circuit chips. The removal process is very delicate. You use a combination of water and nanoparticles to remove individual atomic layers of material. So for example, if I'm putting down the transistors on a chip, I may need to isolate the transistors from one another electrically. To do that, I'll have to remove individual atomic layers of conducting material so that they're electrically isolated so they don't short out. Likewise, when I'm connecting them, just like wiring a house, I have to make sure my metal is contained within an insulator, just like uh, a lamp cord is contained within a rubber sheet. This I do by removing select layers of both the metal or the insulator on the chip. As the chips get uh, more complex, as the devices get smaller, this process is really being pushed to its physical limits in terms of how flat you can make the wafer and how gently and precisely you can remove those atomic layers as you process it. And this type of experience is perfect for students going into the industry and people in the industry, both in chip makers and other high-tech fields, desperately look for people with this type of experience.